All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here with week four NFC East power rankings. Let's see where the Washington Commanders, Dallas Cowboys, and Philadelphia Eagles and New York Giants all rank headed into week four. Let's talk about it. How I feel? You too, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We have another video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with my week four NFC East power rankings. Some teams dropped and other teams moved up. Let's see where your favorite team ranked amongst the four. But before we do, make sure you guys go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications. Wanna road to 7,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So we had a wild, wild week. Week four from the Washington Commanders getting blown out by the Buffalo Bills to the Dallas Cowboys losing to the Arizona Cardinals to the Philadelphia Eagles going to 3-0 after beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New York Giants getting killed by the San Francisco 49ers on Thursday Night Football. So let's start with number four. And I'm going to continue to put the New York Giants in the basement. And I'm going to continue to say it until they prove me wrong and change the narrative of their season. Last year was a fluke. Last year was a flash in the pan. You're starting to really see the New York Giants for who they really are. They are having pass rushing issues. They're having injury issues in front, um, you know, on that offensive line. Saquon Barkley being back should get them a boost. But they're now in a die, well, you know, win or die situation. They're one and two on the verge of being one and three because they have a really, really tough schedule coming up after Seattle. It starts on Monday night with Seattle, and I think they got Buffalo and or Miami coming up too. I don't know if it's Buffalo then Miami or Miami then Buffalo, but they have a ton of hard games coming up here right before they play the Washington Commanders. They have a lot of tough games, man, and um, you could really look up, look up and a couple weeks Giants fans and your season could be pretty much done at one and five now I know realistically y'all may pull out one of these games uh, whether it's gonna be Seattle whether it be Buffalo or Miami it's more likely gonna be Seattle if you do win that win a game out of this stretch um, or the Washington Commanders, but hopefully not us. But before you get to Washington, out of that stretch, it may be Seattle. Um, but it starts down Monday Night Football. You guys have to beat Seattle. If you don't beat Seattle, I realistically don't see you guys having a chance to win any game until the Washington Commanders game. So you guys need to step it up, man. But right now, y'all are still holding down the basement spot at number four. New York Giants are just a bad football team right now. And again, like I keep saying, it's surprising because they have talent. If you heard Giants fans last year, that you could just say they just would say, "Hey, man, we have no talent. We're doing all this with no talent." And I'm not saying you're the most talented roster by any means. You still got a lot of work to do, but you have more time than you have last year, and you were better. But that's because you were being more disciplined. You weren't really self-destructing. Now you're doing a lot of that, and you're not a good football team talent-wise. Even though you upgraded, you're not that there yet to overcome self-inflicted wounds. So I got the New York Giants hold it down enough number four spot. Um, then you got the Washington Commanders coming in at number three. Now this was hard for me to decide. decide. I'll be honest with you. I was It was a toss up between Washington and Dallas obviously. And I was like man I might put Washington at two and Dallas at three because while Dallas lost to Arizona. But I had to really think about it and be realistic. Yes. Arizona was a team that's supposed to be bad this year, but they're clearly not as bad as we think they are. And I had to put Washington at three after our performance on Sunday. No, I didn't expect us to beat Buffalo, but I definitely thought it would be more competitive. Now, now, if you didn't watch the game and you just looked at the final box score and the stat line, it's going to look like Washington absolutely got dogged. But it, this was a 16-0 game into the fourth quarter until Antonio Gibson fumble just, you know, ruined the whole game. Like, this was a 16-point game with 14 minutes to go in the fourth quarter Washington driving on the verge to potentially cut this game to a one possession game and then Antonio Gibson 
fumbled, and then that's when the game, you know, pretty much was over. After he fumbled, then Sam Howell threw a pick. Like, that's when things was over after that, bro. So, again, not making no excuses for us getting blown up because on paper and on, 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 on what it's going to say is that Washington lost 37-3, and we did. But um, that's just how it went down. And I was looking at the Cowboys and Cowboys. Y'all y'all supposed to be talking about a Super Bowl contenders and all this expectation, and y'all lose to Arizona. But, again, like I said, Arizona really could be 3-0. They they lost the lead to Washington, had them on the ropes late. They lost the lead to New York, which is unexpected unexplicable and un, um, you know, explainable. You should have won that game. And you obviously beat the Dallas Cowboys. So if we're being for real, the Cardinals could be at 3-0 and right now. So that's the reason why I didn't put Dallas at 3 and put I kept Washington there because Arizona is not as bad as we thought. Now, I'm not saying they're a good football team, but it ain't like they are they just been trash getting doors and blown out by a lot of teams. They haven't. They've been keeping it close, and they, they, they got the Dallas Cowboys, so it wasn't really a surprise to me. You know what I'm saying? I was more so surprised that Dallas' offense um, and, you know, defense at times did not show up. So, I'm going to go ahead and put Washington at three, though. And then at number two, as you can foreshadow, as we've been talking about, I got the Dallas Cowboys. I still think they're going to be, you know, a solid team, but last week was definitely a disappointment. Um, I don't know if it was just because of the emotional week that they had with losing Trayvon Diggs, but they did not they did not come up to play, they come, you know, show up to play on Sunday versus Arizona. Um, you know, obviously, Dak Prescott didn't look the best. You know, that defense really wasn't able to stop James Conner, the Passing game. Josh Dobbs, and I'll be honest with you, man, he has helped down, excuse me, the Arizona Cardinals quarterback, uh, quarterbacking for the time being. Again, like, he's not perfect, and I still don't think he can be, like, put it all on his shoulders type of good, but he's been really good keeping them afloat, man, and they got the Dallas Cowboys. They were going to win at some point. I didn't think it was going to be the Cowboys. I really didn't. I thought at some point they were going to catch somebody else slipping. But it was the, the Cowboys, and I'm glad it happened, right? Uh, but the Dallas Cowboys they have a lot of work to do, man. They got, um, I want to say it's New England uh, at 425 this week. So I think they're going to win that game. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if they had yet another low-scoring stinker. And Dak Prescott turns the ball over one, two times, three times this week, and they lose. Now, if Dallas lose again this week, back-to-back -back weeks, then we have to start raising our eyebrow and being concerned with Dallas's offense. Because I don't question their defense even without Trayvon Diggs, and even though they had a kind of a letdown I, uh, last week, I still don't think their defense that defense is going to be the problem. I think their their problem lies is going to be offensively, and it's going to be on the shoulders of Dak Prescott because I still feel like he's going to be the one that's holding you back. Other than that, I think the Dallas Cowboys should be fine. But for this week, I think they dropped in the power rankings. Well, they may actually be third because I think last week I had us two also. But if they, if I had, if I had them two last week, they're gonna drop one or they're gonna stay right where they're at. But for real, for real, they should be, they should um, be, you know, number two because again, Washington's performance was pretty bad. Sam Howell four interceptions, um, five turnovers, and general sacks uh, nine times. Um, you know, it was bad. It was bad. So I could not have put my Washington Commanders at two. So Dallas Proud Cowboys, even though y'all lost the bad one to Arizona, a team that y'all should have beat, y'all are still going to be holding at number two. And then number one, we got the Philadelphia Eagles, man. The Eagles, they're three and one, and or three and oh, rather. And they're doing what's important, okay? They're not playing the best. And you'll hear from us, hear from other fans uh, of other teams. You'll hear from Eagles fans themselves. They're not playing good ball, but what they're doing is finding ways to win. And that's all that matters is that they're finding a way to win the football game because that's all that matters. As long as you can find a way to put a W in that left hand column, it doesn't matter how it's looking. Now, obviously, you want it to look sharp and want it to look good, but that's not how it's always going to be. I'm hoping that they continue to play like they played play the first three weeks of the season because I think we can finally get them. Um, I hope this isn't the week that they turn it on offensively because defensively they've been pretty stout and they looked really good on Sunday on Monday Night Football versus Tampa Bay. That offense still looks a little shaky. shaky. Jalen Hurts is still a little shaky with throwing the ball through the air. Obviously, we know their catalyst has been the run game with DeAndre Swift. Um, hopefully, we can sure stop all that this Sunday. Though, As y'all know, they play my Washington Commanders and I'm looking to leave the link with a dub and we both be 3-1, um, which I think it's a very winnable game. But also, you got to go in there and 
stop Philly, man, because they obviously are three zero, and it is the cream of the crop of this division in the NFC. So they're even though they're not they're not the best right now offensively, they're still finding ways to win, which is going to be concerning for teams because imagine when they do finally put it on. You know what I'm saying? Imagine when Ben Johnson finally gets this all passing game together. You know that that defense has been holding it down, especially that front seven. Um, but that secondary, I do think, is a little weak, and I think you can take advantage of it if you have the right opportunities to. Uh, but again, I'm gonna pay my respects and be real. The Philadelphia Eagles right now are the best team in this division and the best team, you know, headed into Week Four. So they they deserve the number one spot. But I'm hoping that after Sunday, my Washington Commanders come for that number one spot because we're three right now. But if we beat the Philadelphia Eagles. We're jumping up to number one. I'm preparing to let you guys know that now. But that's my week four power rankings, man. I really think it's realistic and fair heading into week four of the National Football League. See, that's crazy. We already in week four, man. So I feel like the season just started and we're about to end the first month of the season already. The first quarter of the season already about to be over after week four. So re quickly recapping, I got the Giants at four. I got the Washington Commanders at three. I got the Dallas Cowboys at two. And I got the... Philadelphia Eagles at one. Week four matchups, you got Dallas going, um, you know, playing versus the um, New England Patriots. You got the Giants playing versus the Seattle Seahawks, which is a must-win game for the New York Giants. But hopefully, Seattle can, can beat them. Hope, come on, Seattle. Come on. Come on. Um, and then you got the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles both facing off for the first division matchups um, of the season for both teams. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be high anticipated and high action packed and a good NFC East battle, hopefully with my Washington Commanders coming out on top. So with that being said, it's me and Boy One Guy. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with these NFC East power rankings heading into week four. Um, what would you change if you would change anything at all? And, um... Also, please do me a favor and subscribe to How of Words. That's my new YouTube channel where I'm going to be having a podcast where I go around the DMV interviewing entrepreneurs and anything anybody that has anything positive and, you know, um, businesses going on in the DMV area. So with that being said, please check out um, How of Words. And uh, you have a blessed night. See y'all later. It's me, Boy Juan Gotti. I'm out. Peace.